I have 2013 Honda Accord. Um, it is about 100,000 miles on it. And today I'll change the uh, coolant, the engine coolant uh, for the car. Uh, things I need is two gallons of coolant, uh, one drain pan, and a funnel. The engine coolant is uh, simply drain and fill. Uh, we are going to drain the coolant from this white colored valve. We're going to open that and fill it over here. Open the top cap, uh, make the coolant go out faster. Still draining. So in the meantime, uh, we'll empty out this coolant reservoir. I'm gonna open this thing up and detach it. I can do that with one hand. Okay, that and just lift it up. Let's connect it right over here. So just, just a little bit of coolant, uh, and we'll empty it out as well in the drain pan. It looks like uh, it's coming to a drip. Okay. So let's see if I can go more. So the whole thing has drained out and now it's come to a drip only. So I'm gonna put this plug back in. So it's just plastic, don't wanna tighten too much. Okay, let's have that. Uh, okay. Got the bottle open, the first one, and roll it right in. Support almost uh, one gallon in, almost. There's a little bit of left. I'm gonna go start the car, uh, turn on full heat, and wait for the the fan to kick in, and uh, to make sure that uh, the coolant is going full cycle. And then I'm gonna add some more coolant here. I'm gonna add the old coolant. So uh, I'm gonna empty 
got enough milk to put that in and put it for recycle. So I have uh, topped off the toilet and one of the things I want to do is get the air out of the system. There's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, number one, uh, run on the engine uh, until the radiator fan comes on uh, at least twice. What that would do is bubble up all the air outside to keep this open and have the air bubble up. So, and also we can we can press this uh, hose with the radiator hose and to see if any air is in there uh, trapped that will come out. So, all right, that was hot. So I've done that a uh, little time. Let let the air uh, go outside here in the radiator uh, area, radiator tap area. So time to close it. Uh, also topped off the uh, reservoir. The extra reservoir should be between minimum and maximum. So that's done. And also I just want to mention that I ended up using only uh, one bottle, one gallon of uh, Kool-Aid. Really did not need the second bottle at all. So I'm going to return that. So really it cost about less than $20 to get everything all done at home.